Okay, next slide. Sewer improvements. From 2009 to 2013, we completed over $49 million in sewer costs. It is this thing here. Uh, from 2013 to present, we have completed an additional 7.6, almost $7.7 million in projects. Uh, one of those projects in the 2009 to 2000 is $41 million for the new uh, Mud Creek plant. Uh, we have a consent order with EPD that includes the relocation of the plant, New Force Main EQ Basin, Edward Facility, and we also want to inspect all our sewer lines. We're in, a, we're in the third year this July, we're going to the third year or four year plan to smoke test the entire uh, sewer system. And there's no more short term improvements, and we also have a supplemental environment, uh, supplemental environmental project we're doing. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, what we have on the books right now is total project. This is the force main. Uh, it's a total project and the new plant. Total project cost of 56 million. That is not the that that is underway right now. Uh, the contract was awarded to Garney for the force main project, which includes two master pump stations, two minor pump stations, uh, six miles of force main, a headwork structure, an EQ tank. Uh, and that was uh, that was funded through the G for the Georgia, Georgia Environmental Finance Authority. Uh, the completion date on the consent order for that is July of 2016. The contract completion date currently is six months ahead of, ahead of schedule, and we expect it to be uh, done by January of 2016, six months ahead of time. Hey Henry, just to make sure everybody understands why I included the GFA loan. Most of all this is being paid for with SPLOS funds, <coughs> sales tax funds. And of course, the sales tax funds come in one month at a time. So you can get $55 million in one month. And what we did was, through the GFA loan, we were able to fund all of these $56 million projects up front. And then we're going to use the SPLOS funds if they come in to pay off that loan. And let us get way ahead of getting these projects going. So the project cost just for the force main alone is $36.7 million. And again, we're six months And that one is entirely funded by the GFA loan, and the plan is entirely funded with SWAS. Yeah. And now the new plan project, the contract, we did something unique. And uh, for this project, we did a design build, which is an expedited form of design and construction. They teamed, the design engineer, the contractor, the construction company teamed together to put in a bid. Uh, and the contract was awarded July 19th. Uh, cost of that project is $23 million. We have a consent order date for completion of uh, August 2017. That project is currently almost 16 months ahead of schedule with completion date January 2016 as well. So hopefully, weather permitting, now we're, 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 we're at the mercy of the weather, uh, both those projects come online at the same time. And that's well well ahead of the schedule. And what's the elevation difference between the current plant and the new The plant? current plant is about 70 feet higher than the existing plant. So and it's how well, much farther away from the red river? Uh, I think we've got a map in there. Probably already. another another half a mile, but the, importantly, it's it's outside the 500 year flood plant. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's way out there. there. <laughs> I mean, when we go when we were going through all the uh, tried to get FEMA to cover the funding, all this, all of this, that was part of our hazard mitigation.